my dad wasn't really in my life. He wasn't really there for me at the key times that I needed him to be. I mean, I don't have a, a bad relationship with my dad. He just wasn't really present. I take pride in knowing that I grew up without a dad and, and becoming the man that, that I am today. Where we go? Yeah, sure. I got your outfit in here. Okay. I've always wished that I had a relationship with my dad the way that I wanted, the way that I can't deserve to have a relationship with his parent, but that didn't happen. So I know that the second chance around for me to be the father and to have the child, you know, I wanted to make sure I, I do it right. When it comes to fulfilling my dreams, it's fulfilling to me to be able to accomplish them, but I know it has a bigger effect because I have a son that looks up to me. So while I'm working, I want you to work, but if you want to stop and watch the sparring, you could, but up until I spar, mm -hmm. and after I spar, ah. you? Sorry. It's okay. You know, I never really thought about what I was doing when I was able to step back into the ring, and I didn't really understand the magnitude of it. And it wasn't until maybe two or three years into me ever coming back into the ring that I really had to take a step back. Like, wow, this is something really special. You know, this is something that I can inspire my child. You know, he can look up to me and say, my dad is a hero. He's my hero. So that was really my biggest motivating factor was to be his guiding light. Good, good hook. Back on the stick. That's a gift that can never be taken away from me that I truly, truly take to heart. And if I never step foot inside the ring again, or if I never become champion or fulfill any of my dreams, to me, I can live with that and be content with that because my life had purpose.